video for the, uh, well, it's for any golf really, it's not just for the cabriolet. Um, let's see, before we start, OBD 11 giveaway, 1,000 subscribers by the 31st of October, 75 subscribers short. So we're nearly there. Today is the 29th of September, one month to go. So yeah, today's video, I'm going to be fitting these two USB fast chargers that sit down next to the buttons behind the gear stick. So I thought I'd just do this little introduction while I'm driving along and then uh, we'll get it stripped apart and we'll get these installed. It's supposed to be quick charging. So uh, we shall see whether they're quick charging. I did order USB-C and USB, but I've got two USBs, not particularly bothered, no major issue. But uh, come back to you in a few minutes, once I've parked up, we'll get these installed. So yeah, like I say, two USBs, and these are going down in here. I'm gonna move that one to the middle and have a USB there and a USB there. Just before we start this, the next video I do might be quite a controversial one, but I've purchased something just to see if they actually work. I've purchased a Race Chip Pro 2 that I'm going to install on this car to see if it does make a difference to one, my fuel economy, and two, the power of the car. The power of the car, I'm doubting. I think it would just be. Uh, changing the fuel pressure so it make it feel like the car's moving faster but that will be in a different video so back to this one so yeah so first up let's dismantle what we've got here already obviously I'm getting rid of this because I don't like these chargers I like to be able to shut that cover down so uh, this is why I've purchased these so that comes out that comes down and you've got to get this out which I think earlier Where's my screwdriver? And the cloth. We've got to get this trim off from around the uh, side of the gear stick. Okay, that's that. I'm going to lift this up out of the way. And under here, you've got two T20s, these screws are. So, let's just get that. Two T20s, get these out. That's one. And the other, just lay them there out of the way. And then this just lifts up with a bit of a pull and slides forward. Right, so we are going onto this white one back here for the cigarette lighter. I need to unplug this one so I can move it across. I think first of all, I'll move that across. These just push up and out the way, like so. <coughs> I'll come back to you in a moment once I've got this unplugged and the cigarette lighter unplugged. Right, so cigarette lighter's unplugged. That's this one here. And I'm just plugging this one back in to the cigarette lighter. That's in there. And then this one here plugs back into the cigarette lighter and it only goes around one way. That plugs into there with a nice click. So that's easy enough. Um, right, I need to unplug. Unplug that. One. Sorry about shaking the camera all over the place. So they're unplugged. So we'll put these back into the slots. Do they go up a particular way? Don't think it really matters. Yeah, 
so that's just slots in there and the other one up the same way slot that in there so they're in they might be around the wrong way actually don't know yeah I think they are they're around the wrong way just take them back out and move them around the other way yeah they sit better around that way so it's, it's slightly closer to this edge than the top edge and we put the parking sensor back in he says why won't that go back in there just a moment okay so I can't move my parking sensor to that one because this has slots in the back side and they only fit into one. Oh no, I might be able to. I've got an idea. I'm going to take this bottom plug section off and then I can move it over. Oh, then I won't be able to take it out, will I? But I've got no reason. Why? Don't understand why that won't. No. The parking sensor will go. It's just a bit fiddly to. Uh, get it in there um, where did I put the other USB here so that's slotted into there and then I've got the two wires to connect back up into each USB so we'll do that now just one moment right so they're all plugged in there's a slightly different color on these to those so that's the wiring so all the wiring now which there's loads of it I've got to tuck away underneath just hold that up there tuck it in right shut that down slot this back into place I can shut that they look good let's just turn Turn the ignition on these are supposed to light up with the ignition yep they've lit up just going to pause you a moment and put my phone on charge to see if it quick charges all right you'll see i just added in a screenshot there that uh it is quick charging i like the fact that i've moved that to the middle all right so i've just got to put these two screws back in either side put the gear gator back on and that's it we're back together finally keep this shut down Still got my phone cable, which will reach up there. And uh, yeah, happy with that. Looks good. So yeah, very easy to install. Um, it's taken me, what, 10 minutes, if that, and doing it whilst recording. If I wasn't recording, probably get it done in five. Um, definitely a nice addition to the car. I like the way that I've split it, so you've got passenger side, driver side. And um, so yeah, like I say, the next video, might be a bit controversial with the uh, race chip. Um, didn't buy it brand new, brought it second hand, but I'll explain that all in the next video when it arrives. So yeah, OBD 11 giveaway, 31st of October, if I reach a thousand subscribers. I'll leave a link for these USBs in the description and I'll see you all in the next one.